Hello children. Today we are going to learn class 4th science lesson number 7. Okay. Today I am giving you reading. Plants. P-L-A-N-T-S. Plants. L-I-V-I-N-G. Living and surviving. Okay. In this lesson, we will read and learn about different plants according to their habits. Effect of surrounding on plants. Plants of grass family. We can see many types of a plant all around us. Plants grow almost everywhere. Plants grow on land, in water, on ocean beds, in ponds, on hilly regions, and even in the deserts. Plants grow in those places where the climate suits them. They have to adjust with the surrounding to cope up and survive. This adjustment made by the plants in the particular surrounding is called as an adaptation. Let us read about some plants and their habits. Terrestrial plant. The plants that grow on the land are called as a terrestrial plants. They are of various types. Plants all hills, mountains. Trees that grow in hilly area are generally tall and straight. These trees have needle-like leaves. For example, cedar, pine and fir. Etc. These trees are usually flowerless and have cone with the seed inside them. Plants that grow in plain. A large variety of plants grow in the plain. Trees that grow in the plain may have several branches. Most of these trees can survive in very hot climate but shed most of their leaves in a atomon. For example, neem, people, gulmohar, shisham and mango etc. Plants in a hot and damp places. In a hot and damp places such as the coastal area, trees have more leaves. These trees do not shed their leaves in winter. They remain ev evergreen like the teak and coconut trees. Some other plants that grow in such places are prepared rubber, sugarcane, rice and cotton. Plants in a desert. In a desert area, there is a very little rain. Hence, only those plants which need very less water can survive here. Some varieties of such plants are cactus, kicker and date plants. Plant growing in a desert have spines instead of leaves. Spines prevent the lo loss of water. Photosynthesis in these plants is carried out in the green stain. Plants in a Sophie areas. 
place that the soil is very sticky and clayey are called as a swampy or marshy areas it becomes very difficult difficult for the plants to grow here because air cannot reach their roots hence the plants like a mangroves grow here which have breathing roots roots that grow out of the soil and water to breathe aquatic plants plants that grow in water are called as a aquatic plants they are of three different kinds floating plants fixed plants and submerged plants floating plants plants that float on water are called as a floating plants for example duckweed and water hyacinth fixed plant plants that are a fixed to the bree bed of the pond are called as a fixed plant for example water lily and lotus these plants have thin long and hollow stem to reach the sub surface of water leaves of these plants are broad and flat with a wax coating on the surface to prevent them from rotting submerged plants plants that grow under the water surface are called as a submerged or underwater plants they have thin and narrow leaves without any stomata the leaves absorb co2 and oxygen directly through their surface example of submerged plants are tape grass and pond weed okay now today's homework is children you have to read page number 58 59 and 60